Hi everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. If you are new, my name is Ashley, also known as Ashra Plays on my socials, and we are back with another gameplay mods review video. And this time I'm gonna be showcasing gameplay mods that are perfect for cozy and aesthetic gameplay. So usually I use Chastity, my model sim, for these mod review videos, but I decided to use my sim cell for this one. And we are in a new location. We are in Windenburg and we are in my sim cell's dream home to help showcase a few of these mods but as always i will have a list of these mods linked in the description down below in a tumblr master post so here is my sim self's dream home and there are some portions of this house that may look familiar like this dining room area i feel like i use it for so many of my sims photo shoots and y'all look at benji <laughs> look at benji he is so cute like not him chilling at the fireplace all right so we're gonna start off with food related mods and the first one I want to show off is the surprise cupcake mixer by Sixum and this mixer is actually part of the small spaces pantry pack which is a CC pack that I would highly recommend it comes with a lot of cute clutter for pantries but what I like about this mod is that it replaces that bulky ass cupcake maker <laughs> that comes in the base game I'll put a picture for a reference here just because I don't feel like closing my game and removing this mixer here because this is an override. This replaces that cupcake mixer. Um, there's two versions. There is a standalone version and your sim is able to prepare like one cupcake at a time and the flavor is a surprise so you don't know what your sim gets but I wanted to be able to control what my sims make and I also want my sim to make big batches. And so when you click on the mixer, you have two options. You have cooked cupcakes and then you have baked pastries, which I also love so, so much. We're gonna have my sim self get off the computer and cook some cupcakes and it looks like she's only a level three cooking skill. So I'm gonna cheat that real quickly. And if you don't know, this is from the UI Cheats mod. I did cover this mod in an earlier mods review video. So if you want to check that out, I'll have it linked in the description down below. But we're going to make her level 10. So that we're able to see all the flavors that come in the game. And I think we're going to make, I think we're going to make the Butterscotchman cupcakes. I don't know, that sounds very bougie. So we're going to have her make those. The animation for this does clip a little bit, but I honestly do not mind at all because I much rather have this cute little uh -huh. KitchenAid mixer than that bulky ass cupcake mixer. So as you can see, it's a little bit of clipping, but once she's done, the cupcakes will spawn Jump right job. here. And now your sim has a batch of cupcakes. And I'll also show you guys um, the swatches for this. Oh, okay, I got so scared. <laughs> and I'll show you guys a few of the swatches. They come in these really bright colors and I only personally see myself using these two swatches <laughs> because I am a neutral girly at heart. So yeah, this mod is pretty self-explanatory. You can also bake pastries as well, which requires the baking skill, which I've already cheated to level 10. Here are all the recipes that your sims can make. I think I'm gonna have her make, let's have her make croissants. Huh. Oh. And now we have croissants. Oh. Y'all, I love this mod so much. I see myself using this a lot. <laughs> So the next food related mod I'm going to show you guys is the hot chocolate machine by Little Bobub. I do like the fact that this is draggable, so you can put this on any type of counter surface. Let me double check that. Okay, you can. But this is base game compatible and here are these swatches for it. I love the swatches so much. As the mod implies, you're able to make hot chocolates and here are a few of the recipes that you're able to make. We have big hot chocolate, ooh, salted vanilla hot chocolate. Like, oh, I wish I could just jump into the game <laughs> so I can make this. I think we're gonna have, ooh, a pumpkin spice, a spiced orange. Oh, we're making this. We're making this. If you don't know, I love me some matcha. I am a matcha girly. So we're gonna make the matcha honey hot chocolate. And it looks like you can either make one batch or multiple batches. I don't know how many servings come with the multiple batches. So we're gonna click on it and see. Oh, Lonkas. And now we're just waiting for the hot chocolate to brew. Y'all, ignore Benji. Like, <laughs> I don't know what he's doing. Oh, 
Ooh, that is so cool. Okay, so she grabbed one serving, but as you can see here, we still have some hot chocolate in the machine. Oh, sorry, I'm on Benji. So if we click on it, we can grab another drink. Again, I don't know how many servings this is, um, but it's nice to know that you can either make like one serving or just multiple. So she's going into the living room to enjoy her cup of hot chocolates. This is what oh, it looks like, yeah. and y'all, this is so cozy. <laughs> What I also like about this mod is that there's an optional add-on where you can make lattes as well. If you have the Granny's Cookbook mod, which again, I've covered that mod in a previous mods video. Um, I'll have all of my previous mods video or like the playlist linked in description, but um, we're gonna have her empty this so we can show a few of the lattes. So right here we have the option to make latte and here are the options. We have pumpkin spice, salted maple, caramel, gingerbread, and chai. But Little Bobub also has another mod and this is the Home Barista Espresso Machine. And you guys, I need y'all to look at the swatches for this machine because these have to be the cutest swatches I've ever seen. Like hello? Even like the colorful ones are cute. The main reason why I love this mod is that if you have get together and you wanna make espressos and just kinda of like different coffees, you're required to have both the espresso machine and the frother, but as you can see here, these are some big ass machines, like they're huge. And I try my best to put them in my son's apartments and houses, but they take up so much space and they're so hard to use. But now that we have this cute little compact espresso maker, we no longer need those. But with that being said, the Get Together Expansion Pack is required. It is 100% required, but if you're a regular viewer on my channel, you already know that's not a problem here because we love Get Together here. Uh, again, this is live draggable, so you can put this on any type of counter surface, which is perfect. Another thing that I love about this mod is that there is a hot chocolate add-on. <laughs> So basically these two mods come in hand in hand. So if you don't want to get the hot chocolate maker, you could still be able to make hot chocolate with this machine. So the list of the hot chocolates that I shown earlier can be made on this machine as well. But we're gonna have my son self make some coffee. And as you can see here, we can make all the drinks that come with get together plus more. Um, again, you need Granny's cookbook mod and you need to get the latte recipes as well. So we're gonna actually make a drink from the Granny's cookbook mod. We're gonna make the salted maple caramel latte because I was eyeing that earlier. And just like that, she has a latte in seconds. Love this mod so much. So the next one I'm gonna show you guys, I'm super excited about because this mod just gives off the most coziest vibes ever. So me personally, I haven't used a pressure cooker in months. Like <laughs> the one I have in my apartment is collecting dust. And I used to use it pretty frequently. Like I used to use it to make like apple ciders and rotel dip and I honestly need to use it more. But this is the pressure cooker by Pied Piper. It provides some custom meals that your sims can make. And so we have like barbecue beef ribs, honey roasted ham, so like home style meals. We also have like soups, chicken and gelato soup, beef stew, which is something my mom used to make all the time. Like this mod to me is just very nostalgic. <laughs> it's very nostalgic. You know what? I think we're gonna have my sim self make beef stew. And just like the hot chocolate maker that I showed earlier, you're able to make either a batch of this or you can just make one single serving. And just like a pressure cooker in real life, it takes a bit of, oh, never mind. <laughs> I was gonna say it takes a bit of time for it to cook, but I forget, this is The Sims. It don't take that much time. So she's grabbing a serving. Oh my gosh, y'all. Look at that. It looks good too. And look at the bowl, I love the bowl. So yeah, definitely gonna be a staple in my game. Can't believe I'm just now finding uh -huh. out about this mod, y'all. So once my self gets done with this meal, I'm gonna have her empty it and we're gonna make one more recipe. And this time we're just gonna make a single serving and I kind of want to have her make the cherry almond oatmeal. Like I think that'd be perfect for like breakfast in the mornings for your sims. Just gonna have her cook that for a bit. And then she grabbed it and you guys look at the texture on this. It actually looks good compared to EA's. <laughs> But there is one more food related mod that I'm going to be showing you guys. And if you're watching my Mimi in Windenburg Let's Play series, you've already seen this mod. 
but I just want to properly show it to you guys because I love this mod so much. Like if your sims are bougie, this mod is for them. So this is the functional champagne and gift box mod by Somic and Severinka. And so what you'll do to acquire the champagne and chocolates is you'll need to click on a fridge and then click on the buy option. And then there are two categories. We have the bottle and box of sweets. I'm gonna click on the bottle and then we're gonna grab the champagne here. And as you can see here, this ain't cheap. <laughs> It's 900 simoleons, but I think it's perfect for um, when your sims are celebrating a really special event. All you need to do is just click on the champagne bottle, grab a drink, and as you can see here, it comes in this really pretty gold glass with a strawberry in it as well. And if you have base mental alcohol or base mental drugs in your game, your sims can actually get intoxicated. <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna test it out. We're gonna have her grab another drink. But I also want you guys to listen closely because you can actually hear the bubbles sizzling in the drink. And as you can see here, she got drunk. She got drunk off of two glasses. Where is she going? Oh my gosh, y'all. They kill me when they do that. So I already actually covered this mod in I think it's like my first mod review video I've done on my YouTube channel, but it's the don't wash dishes where you angry poop mod. And so with that mod, I'm actually gonna disable the sinks upstairs so that she doesn't wash her dishes up here. And then for the chocolates, you do the same thing. You'll click on the fridge, click on the buy catalog, and then we have a bunch of boxes of sweets here. This comes with another Severinka mod and I'll have that linked as well, but we're gonna grab this box here with the hazelnut chocolates. Then we're gonna have her grab of chocolate. Huh? Yafis bar. <laughs> and your Sims get a buff whenever they eat the chocolate and they drink the champagne. So as it says here, pretentious, tasty, and expensive. Why do I want to look down on everyone after this candy? I'm so weak. And then this is the buff from the champagne. Strawberries and champagne are so exquisite. The combination of expensive champagne with strawberries gives a truly delicious feeling. But there are a few requirements for that mod. So the first is you need to get the cookbook SNS mod by Stomach and Severinka as well. And that's linked on their Patreon post when you look at the mod from the master post. And then in order to have champagne in your game, you're going to need the dine out game pack. And if you want to see the champagne on like menus for the bar in the restaurants, you will need the XML injector as well. But that covers all the food related mods that I want to show you guys for today. So now we're going to move on to my favorite self care mods. This one I'm very excited about. And this is the Spa Day Face Mask from Mirrors Mod by Lex. And before this mod, if you wanted to use the face masks that come from Spa Day, you have to buy them from this particular mini fridge that comes from Spa Day, which I think is ridiculous because unless my sims are super bougie and have mini fridges in their homes, the only way I was able to get my sims to get face masks was to have them go to spas and buy them there, which isn't a problem. I don't mind doing that, but this mod makes it a lot easier because all you need to do is just click on any mirror in your sims home and then there should be an option to purchase facial mask so i think we're gonna do the relaxing facial mask for my sims so thanks for ordering the facial mask ashley has purchased can be found in her inventory so all we need to do is apply it and then she'll instantly have it on her face oh i love this so much <laughs> So the next mod I have in my game is pretty massive, but this is the Functional Personal Care Products mod by CC Galore. And this mod gives your sims a realistic experience to shop online for self-care products such as body care products, hair care products, face care products, and more. And so there are currently 50 functional body washes available for your sims to use in five body shops. And as you can see here, whenever your Sims use these body care products, they will get a buff. And so in order for your Sims to get access to these products, you can get them through build by mode. But if you want to go the more realistic approach, you can buy these via the phone. But once your Sims purchase their items, they instantly go into your Sims inventory and you're able to use them whenever your Sims take a shower or a bath. And it looks like the creator added another shop. This is the Body Ecology shop and this adds body lotions to the game as well. And then as for requirements, it requires the XML 
projector by Scumbumbo and honestly this is such a vital mod that I feel like you should be having in your game anyways for a lot of mods. <laughs> but now that we've gone over everything in the Patreon post, I'm going to head over back to Sims and show you guys how you can get your Sims to use these body care products. So what we're going to do is click on the phone. I think we're going to go in shopping. There we go. We have the body care shop. We're going to click on that. And then as you can see here, there's the six shops. I'm going to buy from the tree hut shop. And we're going to see what scents they have. So it looks like we have pear and chia seed, charcoal, coconut lime. Ooh, that'll be perfect for like your Sims going to Solani. We have cotton candy, lemon blueberry. Ooh, sugar fantasy. I think we're going to grab that. And now it's in her inventory. Since we're here, we're going to go ahead and order the lotion as well. See what scents they have. We have cherry blossom, coconut hibiscus, ooh, cucumber melon. Let's get the pink vanilla wish. Okay, we have that in our inventory. Oh, okay, we don't have to go into the bath or shower for this. I was wondering how we would use that. Okay, so we're gonna have her use the bath first. So we're gonna take a bath. Oh, you know what? Since we're here, there is another mod that I wanna show you guys. And this is the Bath Soaks Detail mod by Scarlet, but it has been adopted by Little Miss Sam. It's a pretty small mod. Like it's a teeny tiny mod, but it it's so helpful. And all it does, it just shows you what kind of buff your Sims will get. Uh, beforehand, it'll just show like citrus soak, rose petals, muscle relaxing soak. So it looks like she's very confident right now because of the champagne and chocolate she ate earlier. So now we're gonna do, let's do the rose petals. Let's get her flirty. And while she's in the bath, we're gonna have her use her scrub. And she get a buff from that? She did. She did get a buff from that. Sugared Fantasy. Ashley loves a good quality sugar scrub that can leave her skin feeling refreshed. And boy, did this one hit the mark. Listen, the Sims, the Sims would be nothing without the modders. Look at my Sims Souls beauty, y'all. Are you serious? Imagine this was your view. All right, so it looks like she's done with her bath and she did get a flirty buff. She did get a flirty buff, but the chocolate and champagne is just very overpowering. <laughs> so she's still very confident. But it says here, rose scented garden. Nothing is more romantic than taking a bath filled with rose petals. Ashley is feeling pretty flirty. And then now that she's done with her bath, we're gonna have her apply the lotion. Mm. Oh my gosh, there's the animation for it. Uh, I didn't realize there was an animation for that. Y'all, why am I so geeked over this? And it looks like we got a buff from that pink vanilla wish. The smell reminds me of sugar cookie topped with pink icing. You know what? We're gonna have her order those products again. Um, but I want to show them on like the countertop so you guys can see them. Okay, I just bought like a bunch of random products. So let's look at the Vino. Usually I'm a pro similar CC girly like i don't like having english in my game but i'm gonna make an exception for this mod just because you guys know i am all for self-care so any mod that adds extra self-care in the game i'm a sucker for it so i don't mind also i think it looks really good i usually am really nitpicky about this but i i can't not have this in my game like <laughs> here's the method body wash and here's the bodycology lotions now I can have like a proper skincare shelf and make sure all of my Sims are fully stocked with like a bunch of skincare products. And I think, okay, here's the OGX. Oh, I love this mod so much, y'all. And then the final self-care mod I have in my game is the self-manicure and pedicure mod by Sepsid. And as the title implies, your Sims can now give themselves their own manicure and pedicure. They don't have to go all the way to the spa to get it done, which is so convenient to me. This mod does require spa day. So if you don't have spa day, you won't be able to use this mod, but it replaces the nail polish that comes in the game. So in order to find this in build mode, you'll need to search nail polish and then it'll pop up. And I didn't realize this nail polish had this cute swatch. I think this might have been added with the spotty refresh, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but I don't mind having this clutter in my Sims house now because it's actually really cute. So there's two ways that you can have your Sims do their nails. You can either click on the Sim or you can click on this. But for some reason, when I click on this, we have the purchase facial masks option pop up, <laughs> which I'm not too upset about. But at the same time, I thought that was kind of weird, but it's fine. We're gonna have my Sim self come down here on this white rug to do her pedicure. <laughs> 
Okay, we're gonna click on ourselves, click on the self manicure and pedicure option, and then we're gonna start off with the pedicure first. And we're just gonna do white. I'm a simple girly. And so there is an animation for this. And the animation is it's a little bit off, but I honestly don't mind because of how convenient this mod is. Like her nails are done, y'all. They're they're done in like minutes. We're gonna go over the almond and then I think we're gonna go for like this nude color. And just like that, her nails are done. In seconds, y'all, in seconds. Like I love this mod so much. It's so convenient. Oh, now her finally feeling flirty from the bath. <laughs> I'm so weak. Oh, there's this bug in the game, if you're not aware, that if your Sims get a pedicure first and then they'll do a manicure or it sets the feet. I don't know why the Sims team has not fixed this. Like, that that's not a mod issue. This is an EA issue, and it kills me that they still have not fixed that issue. But we're gonna have her do her feet again. <laughs> All right. Now her hands and feet are done. Period. So that is it for the self-care mods and it's getting pretty late. It's 10 o'clock. I'm going to have myself self go to bed and we'll pick up with the gameplay mods in the morning. All right. It's the next morning. I'm going to have myself self wake up and uh oh, oh, she's hung over <laughs> from the champagne last night. I'm so weak. Okay. I'm going to have her use the restroom and it looks like she's getting hungry. So we're going to head back in the kitchen, but now we're going to move on to gameplay mods or just basically like functional CC. The first CC I'm going to be showing you guys is this tablet that we saw earlier and this is the tablet TV by Little Dika. It is part of their Modern Kitchen CC pack and it's pretty self-explanatory. It's a- oh my god. <laughs> Y'all. Oh my gosh. I have wicked whims in my game so we're just gonna ignore that. But we're gonna have my sim self watch tv with the tablet oh brother i like the wicked winds mod but sometimes it can be a bit much ah, but i think this is really cute because you can have the tv going while your sims cook and we're gonna use the pressure cooker again we're, we're gonna grab an omelet for Tata this time but as you can see here she's using the pressure cooker as she watches tv which i think is so cute Now she grabbed the serving of the omelet frittata and she's eating it while she watches TV. Another mod that has a very similar feature to this is the laptop TV by Pierre Sim. And this TV is part of their David's apartment collection. Oh my gosh, not that option popping up again. As you can see here, you're able to do the same functions that you're able to do on a TV. You can basically like drag this anywhere and your Sims will be able to watch TV from it. If you own the fitness stuff pack, then I think this mod is perfect for you because there is an option on the laptop where you can work out. So we're gonna do the plum boom. <laughs> We're gonna do the Blumbuna dance video. And because I moved the laptop in here where there's more space, she'll be able to work out freely. Aww. Look at this. Y'all, I love this so much. Look at her breaking it down. Like imagine working out with this view. Like I love this so much because I never, I never use the workout option in the game, but now I feel like with this laptop TV, my Sims are going to be working out <laughs> so much more. The next one I'm going to be showing you guys is a kit. It is an entire CC kit and this is the home office kit by Illogical Sims. And the reason why I'm showing off this CC kit is because there are so many functional items in this kit. Like it's insane. The fact that EA is charging $5 for their kits when CC creators are creating kits like this for free is just insane. Here are a few of the functional items that come with this kit. We have this new like computer setup, which comes with like this monitor and then like this laptop and then the keyboard. Um, it also comes with this variant right here. And then this variant right here, which comes with like two monitors, the keyboard, and then this PC. And I love these pieces so much, but that's not even the highlight of this kit. There are a few items that actually have animation, y'all, including this floating moon lamp and then this floating plant here. And this is what they look like. Like, are you serious? Are you serious? Is this not cool? 
And then this is what the moon looks like. I'm just, hello? Did y'all just see that? Did I just miss the sea monster? Y'all, I think I just saw the sea monster. I'm not kidding. I could have sworn I just saw it. I'm gonna have to, oh, look at this view. Imagine this was your view from your office. Like, what? But yeah, let me show you guys the moon again. And then we have this really cool wall art piece. And I think it is just so nice. And then we also have two fans. You click on it and you can turn them on. And this is what they look like. And they do make noise as well. It's very subtle. You probably can't hear it, but they, they make noise. But yeah, I'm just blown away by CC creators. Like they're able to make stuff like this in the game and it just blows my mind. So the next three mods I'm going to be showing are all by Ravishing, and we have the Ink for Yourself journal, the Paint of Heart paper sketch pad, and then we have the S'more options. And so I'm going to show the swatches while I'm in build mode and then we'll go in live mode and show off these mods. So here is the Ink for Yourself journal and here are a few of the swatches. We have like a plain blue one, a plain white one, which you guys already know I'm going to be using the hell out of. A pink one honestly i think these are the same swatches that come with <laughs> the parenthood game pack oh this one's nice i like this one it reminds me of death notes but unlike the journal that comes with the parenthood pack this is base game compatible so if you don't have parenthood you could still be able to use this um, and then we're gonna show off a few swatches of this as well and this is what they look like oh i like this one this one's really nice and then even the s'mores option um the little easel has swatches as well and honestly i'm very eager to use this mod so we're going to show this one off first and so what this mod does it expands where your sims are able to cook s'mores originally i think you're only able to do it at the fire pits but now you're able to use like the stove and like your fireplace to make them which i think is pretty cool so we're going to click on the sign oh it looks like you can do a grab and go option Oh, and there's different servings. Like you could do a single serving, family size, or even party size. We're just gonna do a single serving though. Y'all, Benji is so obsessed with this fireplace. He is so obsessed with it. She's gonna go enjoy it. But I actually wanna see her make this more. So I'm gonna have her, I'm gonna get rid of this buff, y'all. <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it. <laughs> And now we're gonna do the roast marshmallows option. And as you can see here, we're no longer limited to the fire pit. We can either use the fireplace or the stove. There's a little bit of clipping, but I honestly think it's because of the fireplace, which again, I honestly don't mind. And just like that, she has a s'more. All right, so the next one I'm going to be showing you guys is the uh, sketch pad and your sims will use this the same way as like the digital sketch pad that comes in the game, but this time it's hand drawn, which I think is very nice to have. So we're going to do a classic painting and we're just going to do, let's do a medium. And just like the digital sketch pad, once your sim is done with their art, it's going to end up in their inventory. And this is what it should look like. Pretty neat. All right, so for the final Ravishing mod is the Ink for Yourself journal. And this mod is pretty hefty, so I'm, I'm pulling up the website so we can go over it together. But this is what the description reads. This viral notebook holds personalized entries. It can be used as a diary, journal, wedding, guest book, or any way your semi heart desires. Click on a notebook to create a new entry where you can customize its icon, moodlet, and view at any time. You can also choose a sim as the author for both the notebook and individual entries. Best of all, it can be passed down to a new sim generation to keep the memories and records alive which I think is just super cool so now we're gonna create an entry in our journal and here are the icons and I think we're just gonna go for this simple journal so the main reason why I'm gonna be using this is to basically like keep tabs on my sims if you don't know I have like two let's play series on my channel I have like a discover university let's play series and then I also have my growing together slash get together let's play series called Mimi in Winnenberg and both of these let's play series take place in the same universe however I'm playing with these let's play series in two different save files and so in order to like keep up with certain events happening and making sure both of the stories 
storylines are consistent with each other. I think this is a really good way to kind of create entries and keep tabs on my sims. Maybe your sim found out something about their partner. They can be able to like click on the entry, maybe put like their partner name here. And for example, we're going to put Damien. And this is one of my sim selves flings in my sim self series, which you should definitely watch. It's called the sim self diaries. It's on my channel. And then you can keep tabs. So for example, for Damien, we went on a romantic dinner date, but he ghosted on me on our second date. Sad face. <laughs> But yeah, it's just a super customizable notebook that you can just add different type of journal entries into and you're able to also like edit them. But it looks like my son self is currently writing her entry mm. inside the journal. Rapna. Is she hungry? Babna! Watuni! <gasps> oh no! Unbalanced meals from eating too many quick meals or desserts? I've never had this buff before. Oh no. <laughs> Anyways, so it looks like we have a new entry and this is titled Damien. We can have my sim edit it. We can add a moodlet so anytime she reads this, she'll get a moodlet from it. And I think we're gonna do a sad memory <laughs> because we got ghosted. But now that I click on this journal entry, it says recall a sad moment. So we're gonna have her Aww. recollect on that. Oh, and now she has a sad moodlet from it. Sad memory from reminiscing about a memory. It is no surprise that focusing solely on the negative is pretty depressing. The final gameplay mod I'm going to be sharing today is Seb's Friendly Flora Mod by Lazy Neef, and I hope I'm pronouncing the creator's name correctly, but what this mod basically does is it adds interactions to indoor plants. So before your indoor plants basically didn't have any type of function other than just be decoration in your sims home but now your sim is able to interact with them your sims can water them and they can also gain gardening skill while doing so so as you can see from this image um outdoor plants that aren't harvestables are able to be interacted with as well and when your sim waters these plants there are water droplets that will come from the plant so we have this indoor plant right here and if you click on it there are a few interactions we have spritz plant, water plant, chat with plant, insult plant, and then <laughs> my favorite interaction, promise to try and not to kill plant. So we're gonna water this plant right here. And your son will also get a buff from watering the plant as well. And here's the buff, fully satisfied flora, indoor plants need love and water too. You can see the little water droplets coming from the plant, which I think is so cute. Oh, we can spritz this one, okay. Because this is a smaller plant, we're gonna have her spritz it. Hello? Why did she just start dancing? Okay, well, <laughs> this plant is watered and you can tell because of like the water droplets, which are a little off, but um, I honestly don't mind it. I, I don't mind it, but that's pretty much the mod. Like, <laughs> it's a small mod, but it's super cute. And you can also interact with like the outdoor plants. So if you want, your sims can water plants out here too. But those are all the mods that I wanted to show in today's video. I hope you guys found a few mods that you can add to your game to make your game feel a lot more cozier and more aesthetically pleasing. As I said before, the list of these mods will be linked in the description down below. But if you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and comment. I'd very much appreciate it. Please don't forget to subscribe so you can see more mods on my YouTube channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.